I'm Natasha Hunt and I play scrum half for Gloucester Hartbury in the Allianz Premier 15s. I played for England for over 10 years and my highlight has to be 2014. The squad feel we had going into the World Cup, what we did and what it meant at the time was just amazing. I managed to compete at two World Cups while still being a PE teacher as we weren't full time back in the day. Because I was a teacher, I had to do the planning and marking for the days that I weren't there as well, so my life was just a bit mental. For me, my biggest influences in my life have to be my family. People say you can't choose your family, but I would pick mine over and over again. I've had super strong women to look up to my whole life, in my mum and grandma. My two sisters have become closer and closer over the years, and my dad and granddad are always there for the best hugs and chats. I count myself very lucky to have them around for my guidance. I think I'm also fortunate to have an incredible friendship group around me. I know that they'd be there for me no matter what. All those that are close to me know who they are. The 2020-21 season was a tough season for us. We were beaten top four before half time on a numerous occasion, so we know that we can do it, we know that we can play against teams like that, but it's just making sure that we can actually sustain it and do it for the full 80. I think towards the back end of the season, I felt great. I was playing some of my best rugby before picking up a pretty nasty ankle injury, and that was tough as well because when you're in good form, you just want to keep playing. The culture at Gloucester Hartbury is brilliant. Lynn is a big believer in culture, it just happens. We don't talk about it because it becomes forced, but we've got some amazing people and leaders that are just driving the culture through the club and it's a really great place to be. I count myself so lucky to turn up four times a week and be so happy to do so. In terms of my media work, it's been a mental year for me. I genuinely love rugby, so actually getting to work on it if I can't play it is super fun. I love the analytical side of what's happened and why it's happened and I think that kind of comes across in my comms. I've done over five games on the Premier 15s. I don't really see it as a job because I love it so much. I just try and enjoy myself. I think for me, making sure that I've done all of my homework and my prep work so I feel prepared just allows me to relax a little bit more into it. I've also been lucky enough to pick up some work across the Six Nations so Nick Heath and I had our own show and being able to get players' opinions the day after they've played. We can't thank them enough for it. Looking forward to the weekend. I love that the finals at King's Home is such a special place and I only wish more than anything that we had a chance to get there as a Gloucester Hartbury squad. I think Gloucester's a proper rugby city. People absolutely love it here. You can't leave the house without seeing somebody in Gloucester stash, whether it's like a hat or a jacket. I think that's a really unique place and a, a unique thing to this part of the world. It's also awesome that BT have picked up the rights and Premier 15s are live streaming it for free. I think it's so important that everyone that's followed it throughout are able to watch the final. And I think it's amazing that the coverage is going to be on BT Sport. It just shows where we've come as a game. and. The women's game is really going somewhere at the moment. Being part of it, whether that's playing, coaching or in a media capacity, I count myself so lucky.